Good morning, boys and girls. What I have for you today are a few stories that hopefully will entertain you. They have a general Halloween theme. I know later today we're going to be celebrating our Hamilton Harvest Day, and you're going to get an opportunity to dress up in a costume and march around our track, being led by the Loudoun Valley High School Band, so I certainly hope that's something you enjoy. I hope all of you really had an opportunity to enjoy trick-or-treating last night, and you did so safely. Uh, the first book I have for you is Harriet's Halloween Candy. I'm sure all of you got lots of candy. Harriet's Halloween candy with the trick-or-treat bag. And it's by Nancy Carlson. And Nancy wrote this book for my sister, Tudin, because she taught me to draw, and for my brother, David, because he withstood so much teasing and still grew up to be a nice guy. So here we have someone knocking or ringing a doorbell saying, trick-or-treat. Harriet really got a lot of candy for Halloween. And you can see Harriet is pulling a huge trunk of candy. When she got home, she laid it all out very carefully on the floor. Then she organized it, first by color, then by size, and then finally by favorites. Harriet's little brother, Walter, watched. He was too little to go trick-or-treating. He's just a little guy, but probably very jealous of all of the wonderful candy. Harriet, you be sure you share your candy with Walt, said Harriet's mother. See some apples there? No, said Harriet, it's all mine. But Harriet felt a little guilty. Because look, all of that candy. And we teach our boys and girls to share. Oh, all right, she said. She reached into her bag and pulled out a teensy-weensy piece of coconut candy. Hey, it really didn't like coconut candy anyway. Hee hee hee. Yum yum. Before Harriet went to bed, she packed her candy into a big box. You can see she marked the box private. Then she hid the box in her closet. Then next morning, she got up early to eat. Some of her candy. Candy for breakfast. Hmm. After she finished three caramel chocolate bars, she hid the rest behind her bookcase. Throughout the day, Harriet checked on her candy. She counted it. All oh, that candy, boys and girls. Then she hid it in a new place every time. Pretty soon, Harriet was running out of places to hide her candy. There's only one thing left to do, said Harry. I'll have to eat it all up. So she started to eat. First chocolate bars with peanuts. Mmm, that's my favorite. And then licorice whips. And then peanut butter cups. And then red, blue, green, and orange gumdrops. Burp, she said when she got to the saltwater taffy. I don't feel so good. Maybe it's time to share. Looky there, her belly is really protruding. She's got a belly ache. Wouldn't you like a sugar donut, Walt? How about some caramel apples? I'm so proud of you, Harriet, said Mother. Sharing is a sign of, of a grown-up dog. Oh, said Harriet, I was going to share all the time. We know that wasn't true, boys. That's good, Harriet said, Mother. Now go wash up for dinner. And can you imagine how she felt knowing she had to eat dinner after eating all of that candy? Look at her face. Boys and girls, I want you to, um, in your classes right now, maybe raise your hand and tell your teacher what you think or how you think Harriet feels now. And is she going to be able to eat any dinner at all? Hope you enjoyed this book again. It's Harriet's Halloween Candy by Nancy Carlson.